Hello guys and welcome back. I hope all of you are doing good. So today I'm going to share some of the information about how to handle the slices with the pivot tables. So it's a little, a little different uh, kind of technique that I'm going to share with you today. So what happens is normally when we link pivot tables with slicer and we use slices, what we do is we can select one country. So for example, in this case, you can select one country and then the information is there. You cannot make it two countries at the same time. So that's a little tricky. So for that reason, if we have such a click search where you can select multiple countries, for example, I've selected here multiple countries and you can see here three of the countries are selected. So this is something, a search uh, criteria that we can set up for the slicers and we can make our slices more efficient. This is kind of workaround because it's this uh, uh, kind of feasibility is uh, you, you don't see in uh, in the slices at the moment. So um, that is something I believe something different uh, that you should try and you should work on it and you should learn about it. So um, I will I will start with the kind of little introduction now. Um, so I'll close this file and I will make it uh, from scratch. So I have a file here, which I will share with you guys. So in the file, I have a data. So I will start with the scratch. Um, I will go on to the top of this file and there I will make a pivot table. So you remember insert and from there we used to make a pivot table. So I'll quickly make a pivot table. I will give it one line and one column on the side to give it a better visibility for you. So what I'll do is I select countries. Yes. And I will select, for example, invoice values for these countries. So now we have uh, countries visible here. So let's, let's quickly uh, make a small slicer on this. So for the slicer, you remember you have to go to insert and insert slicer. Slicer should be on country level. I selected OK. Now this is pretty much simple that you have been doing yourself before. So on the slicer you select and you can see uh, the country level information down there. So that is pretty much efficient now. What we can do next level is uh, that we can copy uh, this particular table and I've got this table here. So we have now two pivot tables. Now remember one thing, these should be connected with your slicer. So for this reason you have to click right click on the slicer and uh, go to here. Now you should see that both the pivot tables are connected uh, with this particular slicer. So that makes sense. That makes us easy uh, for us to make uh, this slicer work more efficiently. So what we'll do is we'll take in this particular uh, pivot, which is pivot number two, which we will use as a search criteria. I'll pull this up here in the filters now it's in the filters, so now we don't see anything. I will remove this values as well. So in the filters, we have only um, country. I will cut it, uh, paste it here. I will hide it under the country so that uh, you can see the country and uh, the link. Now we have uh, the link here. So what I will, uh, will do now is I will select two countries from this search menu. I will go select, for example, China and France. Uh, I will see. OK, so now you see this pivot has selected two options through this um, slicer. So that's how you can make uh, good slicers for yourself, more effective slicers for yourself with this pop up uh, selection criteria and not even two, but you can select multiple countries here. For example, I've selected three here so you can see all three countries here and you have your pop up menu here. Um, you can uh, make these selections and make it conveniently um, visible for yourself, multiple selection criteria. So this is one of the ways, guys, how to handle um, this slicers efficiently. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope also that you learned. Um, looking forward to talk to you again. Um, if you have any ideas, if you have any suggestions, if you have any questions regarding this, or if you want to learn something new, something different, please feel free to comment down there. Um, I will I'll appreciate if you comment. I like your feedback and I'll definitely try to get back to you as soon as possible uh, on your questions. So looking forward to talk to you again, guys. Have a good day and uh, take care. Bye-bye.